Hi, welcome to automation testing that in in this video we will see feature file with multiple scenarios. In our previous video we have seen that a feature file with single scenario. In this video we will see with multiple scenarios means a feature file may contain multiple scenarios. A feature file can have one or more scenarios and every scenario consists of one or more steps, right? A scenario means a scenario will have steps. You can write all your possible requirements or scenarios for a particular feature in a feature file. So you have a feature, that feature uh, may have four or five scenarios. So that four or five scenarios you can write in a that particular feature file. One scenario is separated with another using scenario keyword. A feature file can have any number of scenarios, but a feature file focuses on only one functionality. Means if it is login related, you should have login related scenarios. If it is registration related feature, you'll have registration related scenarios only. So you need to maintain like that, okay? So this is a sample example. Here you see that in the previous video we have write this scenario. Now we, have, we are writing another scenario. So we'll see by taking the example like we will write so this is what we have read we have written in our previous video with single scenario see only single scenario so it related to login functionality so login functionality may feature may have multiple scenarios another scenario like okay so we can use scenario or example right now we'll try to use example so we can say that we have used both okay so I'll write example, okay? So inside this example, login with valid credentials is one scenario. Now I'll check with login with invalid credentials, okay? Login with invalid credentials. So now almost same steps, almost same steps will repeat and I'll copy paste and I'll change. Okay. So so now it is not in the same uh, indent indentation. So I'll, I'll go to code and uh, reformat code. So you see that it's no, no bit forward. So you can see login with invalid credentials. Given user is on login page again, the same thing. When user enter, instead of log valid username, I can say invalid username and invalid password and user clicks on login button. Then what should happen when you see, means when you give invalid credentials, you should not navigate to the dashboard, which means you should not log in. So in typical scenario, ideal scenario, what will get? user should get an error message, whatever it is. Just an example I'm writing, user should get an error message, right? This is my another scenario. I'm testing with this login functionality with different scenarios. If I give valid credentials, it should go. If I give invalid credentials, it should not. So that is what I'm testing. So, and you see that I'm getting some uh, orange or yellowish, I don't know what color it is. So I'm getting those colors under this and here I'm not getting, but only for the steps I'm getting. The reason is when you hover, you can see undefined step preference. Okay, create a step definition. So for each and every step, you should have a proper step definition that we will see in our upcoming videos. Once you create a step definition for this, this line will go. This kind of warning I can say, you see that 10 warnings. You see that undefi undefined step preference, user enter valid, something like that. Everything is undefined step preference. Okay. So do not bother about all these things at this point. So we will see what is step definition, how to create step definition, how to map this to step definition that we will see in detail in our upcoming videos. So at this point, 
you can write multiple scenarios in a single feature file and that should be relevant to that particular feature so this is a login functionality i'm writing about only login functionality with the valid credentials invalid credentials whatever it is but this is related to login feature only okay so that's all in this video thank you